Hey YouTube, it's Dalajan here. Welcome to the final main episode of the story. First, I want to show off that we've got all the plan bolts minus one. There's two there, there's two there. Two, two, one, three. There's none at Slim's Cognitos. Two there, three there. Two, one, two, three, three, one, 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 two, three, two. And there's two here. Oh, there's two here. Anyway, he's gonna go and blast off to the Megacorp headquarters. There's two here. What? Ah, there is, yeah. My own fault, really. I, I should have known that. Um, I'm just gonna make it so we know it is. Organized on this Dark of the Trainer channel here. And uh, yeah, there's gonna be two more, um, like, uh, there's two more oh, platinum bars than we've done. It's crazy. And yeah, welcome to the Megacorp headquarters, the pl Protopet testing factory or whatever it is. So as you can see, the first plant ball is right up here. How easy is that? Okay, uh, this is actually pretty hidden away. Like, I actually found this like randomly when I was playing the game as a kid, but you jump on this, the other way. Can we jump on this? Oh, no, it's the other side. And you can see grind on it, so that's pretty cool. So this area is actually pretty like unique. I don't know why this is another one of my favorite worlds, because like, it is like end game. Like, and I, I love it when you, when you do get like to this point in the game where it is literally the end. There we go, there's our, our first platinum bolt. The next one won't be for a little while. Um, and we could actually go back and actually get the mods, but we're not going to do that, because I can't be bothered. How much cash we do? We've got 300k left. <laughs> I really want to get the arm upgrade, but I can't believe going back for it, so I think we should like YOLO it. Uh, I can't imagine the boss is going to be that hard. Like, I beat the impossible challenge, so... I'm I'm proud of that. And my first attempt, at, may I say, my first attempt, so... Uh, if that doesn't prove I'm good at this game, nothing does. So let's destroy these and uh, where do we go? Oh, we actually get to use the good old um, what is it called? The uh, snipey snipe snipe again. This yep. Can we know we've done this before. As you can see, there's a lot more proto pets here because there's a lot more like storage containers. But yeah, it's not too difficult. I got a feeling we probably will fail at least once once in this area. Oh, I'm so looking forward to actually finishing this game. Oh. It's, we've come so far, like, honestly, like, and I've really enjoyed every minute of this game, like, it's one of those games, like, you don't really understand it until you play it yourself, and it is such a wonderful game. This game, this area actually reminds me a lot, like, you know, um, Blackwater scene, the first game, where there's, like, the, uh, the Platinum Bolt in the, a certain, like, area. That makes sense, like, there's a certain area where there is a, um, what's it called now? Uh, there's a, a gold bolt, and it reminds, this area reminds me so much like it, you know what I mean? So is this going to be the last one? What's going to open up the gate? Oh, balls! Troops! Troops! Don't let me shoot me! Don't let me shoot me! Don't, don't let me shoot me! Get in there! Get in there! Oh my god, that was that was intense, like... Intense as balls. Balls, I say! Okay, let's so, fly over. I'm guessing it's like meant to be some kind of maze, which you can just do what you want with it. Let's use a bouncer. What a bouncer? I also want to put a new weapon on my quick select. Because as you can see, there's only three weapons left, which obviously one of them is a Zodiac, one of them is a Rhino 2. And I don't know what the other one is. I'm honest, I, I've got no idea what it could be. Which one? Oh, we'll get rid of the dynamo. I've got a feeling they're going to be using everything again like they did in the first game. Let's get rid of them, all, the, all the shields. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Okay. I'm pretty sure the gold bolt is actually around here. Uh, the last platinum bolt, so we're going to go and get that in a second. But let's try out these, this weapon. So this is the hover bomb glove. You fire it and you shoot it. They just go and it explodes. That's it, really. I'm kind of glad we looked up where, where the... Um, the last two, uh, what is it called? The um, items are. Because if not, I would have totally missed them. Also, the, as you can see, this weapon has got crap damage. Really bad. I think what we're going to do is we're going to look this up now. So, where is this gold platinum bolt? Okay, so I feel like we we haven't missed it yet. No, we haven't. So, that's good. But as you can see, we're actually trying to break into Mega Core, which is actually so cool that you actually have to do this in this game. I think I'm actually going to run up and be a bit ballsy and use the bouncer just because I want to level the bouncer. Because I don't want to do it in my next play, <laughs> my, my, my next playthrough. Because I'm lazy. It's one of those things like I really want my second playthrough of this game just to be more grinding based. Like, because I will be doing a second playthrough like I mentioned to get all of the, uh, the Rhino 2 and show that off. And also get some trophies because I like trophies I guess. But like the, the bouncer added just quite a bit of damage to the um, the hover tanks. I don't know if you guys can see this. Just look how much damage it's done. Has it, has it, has it, has it killed it? No, it hasn't sadly, but it does some decent damage. Like I do like the the bouncer, but I feel like just the range and how it is. It's all RNG based. You know what I mean? Because the fact like it has to um, die. God damn it, die! 
die, die. Uh, it's all MNG based. Also, by the way, the planet ball isn't there. I, I got it wrong, the wrong location. It's coming right at the end of the level, so uh, I need to keep my eyes open for a certain thing to actually know where it is. Okay, that's that. That's done. done. Make sure we haven't missed anything. Cool, let's go. So, I can't believe how much money we've actually got. We've got so much, like, I love it. I love it so much. And people complain about not having money in this game, and I've literally got all the weapons except the, the, the two overpowered weapons. So, I can't remember how the Zodiac works, by the way, if people are wondering. Oh, this area. This actually is one of the cooler. It's like a little boss fight type thing, because as you know, the um, the good old um, Hypnomatic only works for a certain amount of time at the top. And we have to keep doing it, we have to keep switching into the robots to the side just to actually get uh, past this. And it's so cool, like this concept, and I love it. When it gets to about five seconds, I'm going to switch out. So, uh, let's see if I'm reaching them. Oh, balls, I killed one of them. I don't think it's going to matter. But as you can see, like, there's a certain amount of spawning, and uh, you just have to keep killing these guys. And I really do like the idea of this, because it's such a cool concept, you know. We have actually are in the base, and we are just kill spawning, killing them, and I love it. I don't know why we have to keep killing them though, because it's kind of a bit, bit brutal, isn't it? But yeah, I don't really care. I do like the idea of this area though, because like, it is literally just going back and forth, just killing enemies. Let's pick this guy up and change. Okay. I feel like uh, this is going to be the last few. Let's just keep pushing up. Keep pushing up and hit the button. Hit the button. We got it. And it's going to create a teleport for us. Where is the teleport? Is it down there? Nope. What, what the hell is. Have I missed it where the teleport is? It may be over here. Maybe. Maybe, okay. Uh, I'm, trying, I'm making sure we haven't missed it. I don't think we have. Well, I'll tell you, well, if we have missed it, I'll go back to the start. Because I don't want to miss it. Okay, ooh. It's a lot more cryptic, doesn't it? I really do like I really do like the atmosphere in this game. It's so good. It's so good. Um, let's go in and uh, actually put on the bouncer. Le bouncer. So long, gay bouncer. Like, just, just look how much damage this does. It, I just feel like the entire range of it is just, ugh. You know, and the fire rate is a bit weak. Yeah, I'm, if I'm just being balls, it's just because, like, I might as well be ballsy. You know what I mean? You only live once and all that, don't you? Okay, so, uh... I'm pretty sure I know where the thing... Oh, my God. such a war we can run on. I'm pretty sure I know where the last platinum bolt is. I've just remembered. I think I know where it is. Hopefully. If you're wondering why we're not using all our fancy new weapons, it's just because, like... I believe this is the actual opportune time to use them. But I do like this. I, I like this area a lot more than, than in the first game. Like, in the first game, the um, the Stein area is just so, like, the final boss area is, like, so, like, ugh. I'm not going to give spoilers to the first game in case you haven't played it, but I really just think this this area is so much better. Also, that's actually a really cool thing we can do with the, um, what's it called? Bomb. It actually has got quite a bit of damage, this bomb, like, now I think about it. It's not got as enough as, uh, it hasn't got the same as the, um, what's it called? Uh, the rocket tube or the bouncer, but it's still got some decent damage. Like, it was still it managed to one hit these guys, which I'm happy to get some experience. I mean, that's why I'm, I'm being bald and not using my shield and all that, because I want to level my weapons. And that's probably what I'm going to do in my second playthrough as well. Okay, let's pop it over there. Boom. And this is going to be the last one. Boom. Okay, let's get back into the bouncer. Okay, let's put our shield on now. I don't, I don't want to die. Do not want to die on the final stretch of the game. I, I, I honestly I don't think we've actually died that much. Which I'm happy with, like, how little we have died. Okay, I'm dead. Bouncer. The bloody bouncer just bounced off that bloody thing. God damn it. Ah. Ah, uh, uh, he got me. He got, I gave him that. He got me. He got me. Okay. Jesus, just look how many wrench hits these guys take. Oh my god, don't die. Okay. We are running low on HP, Jesus Christ. I, should, I probably should put a shield on, but I feel like I'm going to be bald. Just look at this room, how big it is, though. It looks so immersive. You know what I mean? It's so cool. I love it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put on my uh, Tesla barrier and also my Kilonoids. Just to play it safe, you know what I mean? Oh. Okay, there's some uh, of these guys. Ooh. Okay, okay. Let's put on a dynamo. I do like the idea that we're having to use all this, though. It's so cool. Like, I do love this world so much. Okay. Uh, let's go back into the... Um, let's go into the rocket launcher, because the rocket launcher is amazing. The mini rocket tube, or the mega rocket tube now, because it's, like, got a cool thing. I just want to check something behind us. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to see the gold bolts soon enough behind us. 
And we have to go all the way to the end of level to actually go back to the star level to get it. Does that make sense? I think it, it does to me at least. So, uh, yeah. Okay, we have to do a little jump in between them. <sighs> jump! There we go. Easy enough, easy enough. But I, I do like the whole idea that we're having to infiltrate the whole Megacorp thing. We actually have no idea what um, Fizz Widget is, is trying to do. Because, like, he has been a bit of a a-hole, hasn't he? From what he's done in the past. Like, he tried to kill us. He tried to kill his ship. We don't know if he's actually his motives or anything. Like, is he actually the bad guy or is he just confused? We don't know. I hope we get some answers. I really do. That would be cool. Okay, uh, where is the uh, bouncer? Okay, there we go. There we go. Get some more money because there's never too much money. For, run 420. Smoking that weed. Yeah, yeah. Okay, can we actually aim them? Oh my god, we can aim straight up. That's so pretty cool. That's so, that's so pretty cool. That's so cool. Except when I mess it up like that, because that's, that's not cool at all. Oh my god. I feel like this the hover bomb go, go actually does level up pro I feel like it's gonna be one of my last weapons to level up though. And if you remember when you beat the game, you actually get like the whole um Omega weapons. So uh looking forward to like leveling those and having to spend like 20 million on like six playthroughs trying to get all the weapons. Okay. At least you do start with all your weapons again in this next game. It's just the infiltrator. And break in. Come on, infiltrate it. There we go. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Let's go down, because down never seems to let us down. Okay, just... Oh, no, wrong way. Up, up, nope. Across. Up, up. Yes, first attempt. Way. I love that. I don't know why I love doing those in the first attempt, because I just feel like a boss. Can we actually use a Thiminator here? To just drown them all. Can we actually do that? Well, it doesn't really matter, because they're dead now anyway. Is there anything actually in here? No, okay. Okay. No. Why is it frozen? I that makes no sense why it's actually frozen then. If there's no real point to it, you know what I mean? Am I an idiot? Maybe. <laughs> Wait, let's have a quick look. Am I an idiot? I don't actually know. Uh, okay, let's keep going up. Okay, I feel like we still haven't hit the next platinum ball. I don't want to miss it because like we are at the end of the game, and I'm pretty sure it's in this room, the platinum ball. You won't be able to see it until I show it in a second, but it is in this room somewhere. I'm actually going to use a sniper because I love a sniper. Yeah. Die. We actually haven't used a sniper half as much as I wanted to in this game. Let's just, just look at it, rinsing these things. Like, you'd think that this is a, a really early on in the, in the game, like, weapon. And it still actually does some decent damage, so I'm happy with that. So, I think it's right behind us, the Platinum Bolt. Is it? No. <laughs> it's not. Okay. I was wrong. It's somewhere over here. I know it is. Come on, lock on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's go over here. Okay, it looks like we're going to get some good old ammo refills, which I'm happy with. It might actually be in this room, then. Because there is a grind rail up there. I think you have to go, like, down one side and come back the other to actually get the last platinum bolt. I might be wrong in that regard. If I am, I'm sorry, but I think that is right. Okay, let's do some infiltrating. Okay. Down, across. So it's kind of funny today. Like uh, I was literally running on two hours sleep, and I record like the rest of this let's play today. I'm so I'm so productive. I don't need sleep. Who needs sleep? I honestly don't need sleep because sleep. Yeah, come really here. Okay, uh, there we go. That's that complete. And maybe we can use this to actually get around now. Oh, you mean we stock up on ammo and stuff? What you doing, Dakota Trainer? Stock up on stuff. Okay, there we go. And let's uh, get those. Get those. Fair prize of why not? And that's it. I can't. I remember we actually used all these cool weapons, and now we're just not using any of them. It's so sad, isn't it? Like, oh, there's our platinum bolt. There it is. Well, hey, that's our last platinum bolt in the game, which we need to get. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be in this room, man. Yep, definitely. I got a feeling it's, like this. This room is gonna be the way to get it. Throw some bouncers down. Yeah, like definitely, because like just look at all these, uh, all these enemies, man. There's so many of them. This does seem like end game stuff. What up, boys? Let's get a bird, lob some of those down. Let's get some more bouncers in this, in this biatch as it were. Let's get some more bouncers. I do like the idea of the bouncer, but I, I really just wish it was better than what it was. I, I don't know if when, when it changes, is it better? I, I actually can't remember. Okay, but it might not be. It might not be. Okay, there's slime is left in here. So to get this last platinum bolt, you might not be able to see what you have to do. Okay, we need to go on the tractor beam. Okay, uh, well, I will in a second when uh, all these guys are dead. Okay, are these guys dead now? Are, are, are you all dead? 
Are you all dead? He's not dead over there. Okay, Jesus Christ, guys. Just, just stop spawning back in, please. Are you all dead? I feel like they're all dead. Okay, so right here, use the tractor beam. How easy is this to miss this, honestly? Like, okay, where's the tractor beam? There it is. Like, it's going to create a little path. How hard is this to notice? Like, honestly, like... As a kid, I missed this so many times. I, I had no idea this was here. But you, that's crazy that yeah, like that's there. And it's gonna give us our last pattern bolt to actually give us the the trophy, as I said, the achievement, uh, which would be oh god, it's fine. Let me take a hit. I don't care. I don't, I don't really care. And let's get it. It's gonna give us our trophy. No. Um, have I missed one? Oh no, there it is. There we go. Platinum power. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, I beg get my trophy for this. Okay, and then we're going to push down, and uh, this is going to be literally the right at the end of the game. This is going to be, like, literally the end of the level now. Oh, it's, it's crazy, like, we've got all the platinum bolts. It's always a bit emotional when you do get to this point in the game where you, you are literally just rinsing enemies. Like, I do like that in Ratchet and Clank, though, because, like, I am that point now where I am overpowered. Like, but it has been a lot of work to actually get to this in this place, you know what I mean? Like, I have played the game like a normal person would, and I've got all the platinum bolts, so there we go. This guy's dead. Die already, Jesus Christ. Just look at this. The, the, the killer noise are one of the powerfulest enemies in the game. And they're getting rinsed. This is it. The protopet duplication room. <sighs> I'm sorry I'm late. I had some trouble with the guards. No problem. You're just in time. Okay, let's see if this thing works. She is trying to tell us something. Bye now. Enjoy the hygienator. <laughs> Remember, you bought it from Steve. <laughs> Steve McCork. Indeed. Now that I've sold my one millionth hygienator, I can finance the comeback of the greatest superhero who ever lived, Captain Quark. All I need now is a new galaxy with a new fan base so I can rescue them from a new disaster! Sir, I do not understand. Mr. Fizzwidget! <laughs> this is bad. All right, just what? What is going on? <laughs> Allow me to explain. I'm about to save the galaxy from the protopets, and you are about to become public enemy number one. Oh, and two and three. Guards, seize them! Smile, it's showtime! <clears throat> Citizens of Bogon, I am Captain Quark. I come to you in this, your darkest of hours, to shine the flashlight of justice on your galaxy. <laughs> flashlight of justice? <laughs> As you know, a living menace called the Proto-Pet has been set loose in your galaxy. But fear not, Boganites. I, Captain Quark, have caught the perpetrators. Yes, good citizens, these are the masterminds behind Megacorp's experiment with death. And now, with this, uh, super electro gadget I invented, I will end the protopet threat once and for all. That's my elixamorph. I invented... Oof. Ahem. Stay tuned, dear viewers, as I amplify the signal from this helix so thingy and render every protopet in the galaxy completely harmless. Allow me to demonstrate. Mommy. Does that helixomorph actually work? It used to. I could probably fix it. Come on, Clank. Let's get it back. So yeah, it turns out Captain Quark was behind it the entire time. He wanted to get his reputation back from the first game. If you don't remember what happened in the first game, um, we ruined his reputation, <laughs> pretty much. It was our fault why everything went bad. But we're gonna go ahead and fight this bot, this guy. 
This is the final boss in the game, and uh, to, to be honest, it's not difficult in the slightest. A lot of people have trouble with this boss. I don't know why. Like, it's so easy, like, just to do this boss. Like, just keep like scrolling or what have you, and it'll be fine. Like, honestly, like, it's a lot easier than Drek. If you don't know who Drek is, he was the, the, in the first game, the uh, original, like, guy who Captain Quark were for in the first game. And uh, this is not hard in the slightest, but as you can see, it does eat ammo. And with ammo, I, I don't know what happens. What's he gonna do? Oh, God, what's, what's, that, what's he doing? Has he actually eaten bouncer ammo? <laughs> Get it? Because bounce, yeah. But as you can see, like, this boss, I, I, I really wish this boss was a lot more eventful, like, like, like in the first game, it's actually a really big challenge to actually beat the game. In this game, not so much. You know, it's like I think, I'm pretty sure the bounce is actually does really good damage against this guy. I think you can imagine, like it does quite a, a substantial amount. I haven't even been hit on the boss yet. So, uh, to tell that as you will, how um, easy this fight actually is. Okay, it's, it's firing stuff at me. Nah, it's fine. Just keep jumping. Let's uh, do this. As you can see, this boss fight is going amazingly well, and I'm, I'm happy with how it's going. So, uh, hopefully we can beat this boss without getting hit. That would be pretty cool if we could actually beat the final boss without getting hit. I'm going to be proud of that accomplishment. But I've said that now, I'm probably going to get hit. Because that always seems to happen. You know, whenever you say something, you always do get hit. Yep. <laughs> right at the end. But uh, this is the end of the boss. Well, hey, how easy was that? Mr. Fizzwidget. Quark had him tied up in a supply closet all this time. Gentlemen, you have my most profound gratitude. It was nothing, sir. I'm just sorry we couldn't get the helixomorph back. <laughs> right. What do you suppose is wrong with it? Uh, I don't know. It could take months of research and... The battery is in backwards. Oops. Imbecilic to the very last. <laughs> Down, boy. I just have to amplify the device with Megacorp's TV transponders, and that should cure the other protopets. Clank? Uh oh. It's okay. I can fix her. I promise. So yeah, that is the end of the game, pretty much. That's everything completed. M manipulation complete. That's the second game finished. We will be going to the third game, uh, which I think is the worst of the trio, or the trilogy, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I I'm looking forward to it. Like, I've really enjoyed this game. I hope you guys have. There's going to be one extra video, or maybe two, I don't know yet, of when I'm going to show off all the Omega weapons, all the weapons in the game, and uh, probably some of the costumes, I, I don't know, uh, and all the mods I've missed, and, and get all the armor as well, and all the ship upgrades. Uh, because that's part of the game, but uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed this let's play. I hope you guys have uh, watching it. It's been fun. I've uh, I've actually had a lot more memories like playing this game like, over the last like three, four episodes because I've, I've just I've really been into this game like, again. And I've really enjoyed it. Overall, I think this game is better than the first, like I mentioned, and this is the best one out of the three. Like I don't know why I feel like Insom Insomniac's second game is always best. Same with Spyro. Same with Ratchet and Clank. Uh, but. Um, my overall thoughts, I really enjoyed the game. I like the gameplay. I feel like one or two bosses in this game, such as the giant mech, uh, which uh, was a tough... Oh. So, what do you like to do for fun? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so, whatever happened to Quark? I heard he was working at Megacorp. So, you fellas new here? You boys should sign up for the new Probomatic. That little baby cleans you something fierce. I just got done testing the full body waxinator. I am personally sporting a smooth chassis, and there are no tags on my luggage. All right then. Catch you later. Subject 23A. Please report immediately for crotchetizer testing. Well, duty calls. All right, fellas. Nice and tight now. So you tested this, right? 
Oh, wait. That's why I'm here. <laughs> oh, one more thing. So as you can see, you are being caught. You can go back to... Uh, I'm going to go to challenge mode, actually. But, um... Let's reset the game. Uh, like I mentioned, this game... Uh, I feel like it's the best one out of three. I feel like the certain boss fights, like the giant mech and other stuff like that. Welcome back. Let's pause this. Uh, I'm gonna pause the game as soon as we get in, just to talk about what I think. Um, I really do think like um, the boss fights in this game are a bit crap, minus the mom mech, because that is a bit too difficult for my liking. But I feel like the final boss fight could have been so much better. Like the the, the like the the Drax fight, not the Drax, um, the Drek fight in the first game, because I really enjoyed that fight. As you can see, we're back at the first the starting area. Pretty sure we've got all our weapons, haven't we? Yeah, we've got all those weapons which we did buy. Uh, there is actually um, the entire like weapons and stuff now you can get like uh, the whole challenge mode thing, which I will be showing off. Don't you worry. Um, but I'll be doing that later on. So overall, I think this game has been fantastic. I like I said, the boss fights were really laid, laid down. I really enjoyed this game though. And uh, roll on number three. I don't know when I'm going to be doing number three. I think it's going to be probably about two months until I do Legend Clank three. Um, or up your arsenal, which will be, I think it's going to be June-ish. And I think I'm going to move on to Wretched Gladiator soon after that. So, uh, I'm actually deadlocked. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, and if you enjoyed this series as a whole, please give it a like. And next time I'm actually going to go and uh, farm some stuff and try to get some of the Omega weapons and stuff. And uh, get the Rhino 2 and stuff like that. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.